Guess what? The moon is no longer just a celestial body to gaze at during the night. It's the new frontier for commercial, military and geopolitical interests. NASA's Artemis program is aiming to return humans to the moon for the first time in more than 50 years. The first human landing is currently scheduled for 2025. This isn't just about advancing science and technology or inspiring the public. It's also about practical benefits for the commercial sector and the military and an opportunity to reinforce U.S. global leadership. Several companies around the world, including both startups and established aerospace firms, have begun working on missions to the moon. Some, like Japan-based iSpace and US-based Astrobotic, are developing commercial lunar landers and have plans to eventually collect lunar resources, such as water or minerals. For now, efforts to return to the moon are largely funded by government space agencies like NASA or the European Space Agency. However, many experts talk about the growth of a cis-lunar economy where companies make money through their activities in and around the moon. It will be decades before many activities, like mining lunar resources or collecting solar energy on the moon, will generate profits. But in the meantime, government space programs can leverage commercial innovation to cut costs, spur innovation and accelerate their programs. And some commercial activities such as lunar tourism may be profitable in the near future. SpaceX has already sold one trip to the moon, tentatively scheduled for launch in 2024. Companies entering the market early may have an advantage. Crowding is unlikely to be an issue in the near term. The moon has a surface area roughly equivalent to the entire Asian continent. Even at the poles, multiple sites offer access to both water ice and solar illumination. However, the first companies on the moon may set precedence for the extent of lunar mining allowed, as well as the safety and sustainability protocols that others coming later may follow. The United Nations has established a working group to examine the legal issues related to using space resources, but it won't finish its first set of proposed principles until 2027. In the meantime, commercial entities are already attempting to land on the moon. So buckle up, space fans, the race to the moon is on, and it's not just about planting a flag anymore. It's about establishing a presence, making a profit, and paving the way for a new era of space exploration. The moon is open for business.